So here we are in our paprika and chili tunnel. It has seen some better days. Um, it's been here for at least two years now and the foliage is, yeah, plastic is wearing down. But we'll still use it hopefully another two years. As you can see, the paprikas and the chilies aren't as big as, as they could be. That's mainly due to aphids. Um, yeah, you can see the the leaves are just crumbled and distorted. And the new growth that's coming out now is better. I put some um, larvae of ladybugs in here, just a couple, but they kind of did their job. Here we have some paprikas. I'll put the type or the variety um, in the video. And they've grown quite nicely. And not really started uh, blooming as much, or they did, but because of the pressure from the aphids, they uh, dropped all their flowers. But some of them already, as you can tell here, are already bloomed and got pollinated. So. Um, but they're growing nicely. They're quite tall already and Hopefully they'll start producing now and um, Those are I think all the same variety um, I'm not a hundred percent sure here. We have our first paprika It's looking good um, And getting there um, We kind of plucked out, uh, plucked out all the flowers at the beginning because we wanted the plants to grow since they kind of got set back by the aphids but um, now we just just decided that we'll let them go at it and just see how much they still produce um, yeah I think this is still the same variety I'm not a hundred percent sure I think here's where we finally start to see different kinds and I think in the outer layer here it's all paprika and here in the middle it's all chilies yeah, and I think this is a chili. This must be our Carolina Reaper. Um, we bought this one, all the other ones we grew from seed. And we bought the ghost chili, I think it is, um, also. But the rest has been grown from seeds. The chilies were planted or grown from seeds that we harvested from our own chilies last year. I uh, still had a few seeds left. And... Um, yeah, hopefully they'll produce nicely. I already have some. I think that's a pimentos, and that should be a Thai chili, a red one. And we also set up a drip system in here. Unfortunately, we weren't able to reach the middle ones here, at least two or three of them. So mainly, I'm watering per hand, um, but. Um, it's also nice just to plug in the drip system and let it run for a bit. Uh, the soil is pretty dry right now. It's hard to even dig um, because we haven't watered it through the whole winter. Nothing was in here. We mainly use it as a shelter for some of the plants that um, can overwinter. And right now we still have a bit of room here, but we're probably going to leave that because um, just a bit of room for all my other experiments or different plants we have like the um, pine down here and a really sad looking coffee plant and some ac acacia here that I've all grown from seed and yeah hopefully they all have it nice in here and I'll give you an update on the paprikas and chili soon.